After my Gold Britannia video, I wanted to compare it to the Gold Maple Leaf and see why the Maple Leaf is so much more popular. Should Americans buy one of these foreign gold coins over the other? I think so. We'll deep dive into this topic, coming up. Hey everyone, welcome to Campbell's Coins. Stay tuned until the end of the video if you're interested in seeing some of my latest precious metals pickups from March. I see a lot of videos comparing American gold coins against one another, but not too many comparing two foreign gold coins, especially not two which share a really strong ally tie with America. Let's jump into this thing. These gold coins are pretty similar. For the sake of this video, I'm discussing these coins made after 2013. You'll see why in just a little bit. Both are 24 karat with four nines fineness. Both are available in four sizes, tenth of an ounce, quarter ounce, half ounce, and one ounce for all sorts of convenience. Both have this individual on the back. Nope, nope, no, 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 not showing that side. But I do not want to get demonetized again. Both have incredibly intricate designs and both have enhanced security features that make counterfeiting extremely difficult to basically impossible. These security features are created by laser technology to micro-engrave the textured coins. The Britannia has five security features and the Maple Leaf has four. The Maple Leaf has these radiating lines on the back side of the coin coming from the Maple Leaf all the way out to the end of the coin. They are so fine that it almost looks like it's just a smooth surface of a coin. It also has a maple leaf within a maple leaf and then a date of the year that it was minted in that maple leaf. On the front side of the coin, it also has those radiating lines that go out from the center to the edge. Also, the intricate texture of the maple leaf on the back side, very, very unique, stands out a little bit. On the Britannia, you have five security features. On the Britannia, we have these like micro dots on the front of the coin where the queen's face is that are all over the surface and they're so fine that it almost looks like a smooth surface. And then on the back side, we have an element which is a special wave design on the coin's background which catches the light on the coin surface. The second security enhancement is the addition of smooth lines on the Britannia shield. The third is the holographic image of a padlock in the bottom left. This transitions to a trident whenever you tilt the coin. And lastly, there is a very, very imperceptible Latin phrase that goes around the edge of the coin. Translated to English, an ornament and a safeguard. The Maple Leaf security features were added in 2015, while the security features on the Britannia started in 2021. If you like these coins and you're hoping to buy some with the security features, make sure to keep those dates in mind. For me, the security features are the main selling points for these coins. For all their similarities, these two coins have quite a few differences. Stating the most obvious is the design and country of origin. Both are beautiful in their own right. While I still prefer the designs of the American Gold Eagle and the Gold Buffalo, I can still appreciate these very nice and intricate designs. One interesting note on design, even though both coins in the discussion have a BU finish, each has a slight polish on them, giving a very slight proof-like finish to them. They aren't proof, but they are polished enough to stand out from all the other coins out there. This is something I feel the United States Mint can do with their coins, but chooses not to. What else am I missing here? Oh yeah, here's a big one. There are reporting requirements if you sell or buy 25 ounces of gold maple leaves within a 24 hour period. The coin shop you buy or sell to is required to fill in and submit form 1099B. This reporting requirement does not exist for the gold Britannias though. So, if you're in America and you're stacking maple leaves pretty regularly, you might find it better to get the Britannias. 
I do not know why coins from specific countries have reporting requirements and others do not. Chinese gold pandas, for example, you might think that this is one with reporting requirements, but it does not. Instead, we have requirements on bullion from our closest neighbors, Mexico and Canada. It's like the politicians were throwing darts at the map when creating this asinine reporting policy. This isn't to say these coins will always be on the reporting list or not on the reporting list as rules and laws change, but it is interesting to note. The premium on the Britannia is also one of the smallest of all the government coins. Most online dealers I checked with, the Maple Leaf was 10 to $20 more than the Britannia for the one ounce coin. But for some weird reason, the Britannia with more security features, no reporting requirements in America, and a cheaper premium is still less popular over the gold Maple Leaf. I had a theory, but I also wanted to check in and ask my LCS, Have New Coin, about the Maple Leaf's popularity compared to the Gold Britannia. And this is what they had to say. They brought up the Gold Buffalo coming onto the scene in 2006 and how it was less popular than every other gold coin out there. And I do remember that. I remember that nobody really wanted the Gold Buffaloes. My LCS did not stock them in the store for a very long time, simply because nobody wanted them. Avenue Coin suggested that maybe people aren't comfortable with the Britannias because people haven't really taken notice of it yet, unlike the Gold Maple Leaf, which has been around since 1979. I would like to point out, Avenue Coin does not stock the Britannia for the simple fact that they are not popular with folks. I'm trying to change this mindset in America. One major point I missed in my Gold Britannia video was purity, and I apologize to you all for that. From 1987 to 2012, the Gold Britannia was 22 carats, just like the Gold Eagle and the Krugerrand. In 2013, the Britannia purity was changed to 24 carats. The fact that it was 22 carat and a foreign coin might explain why it's not popular in America or has some stigma surrounding it. However, that doesn't explain the popularity of the Krugerrand in this country. I know the popularity of the Krugerrand has waned dramatically, but from the 70s to the late 90s, it was all the rage. It even made it into a Lethal Weapon movie. The trunk. Yeah. Get your cover. Yeah. Go! Many people might not know about this purity change in the Gold Britannia and hold a bias against it. Another point my LCS touched on was the feeling of the coins. Pun intended. Yes, each coin is one ounce. However, the maple leaf is thick with two capitalized C's. A smaller diameter over all the other modern basic gold bullion. I would have to agree with their assessment. I love the feeling of the maple leaves. It really feels like the maple leaf weighs more. The maple leaf feels like a real chunk in your hand. Not as thick or as chunky as this 2009 ultra high relief St. Gaudens, but it's trying to be. What do you think? Is it the recognition and longevity of the maple leaf over the newly remodeled Britannia that gives it its popularity? For those living outside of the United States, do you have a preference for one over the other? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Here are some of my recent pickups I wanted to share. I got these from Avenue Coin. No, this video is not sponsored by them, even though I mentioned them quite a bit. They are just a great group of people, great pricing, and great customer service, not to mention a fantastic store. They are my go-to coin shop. A lot of people have mentioned to me that they don't have a good coin shop around them. You should give Avenue Coin a call. They will probably have something for you. They also package and ship very well. I got this 2022 PAMP Lunar Year of the Tiger Platinum Bar. I will be doing a review on this very shortly. 
I also picked up some 10th of an ounce gold eagles and a graded $10 Indian, but I had to put that bad boy away in storage, so you'll just have to enjoy the pictures. Your time is your most precious asset, and I appreciate you spending it here with me. If you're interested in other topics like this one, check out the other videos I have on my channel. Thank you all for watching. This is Campbell's Coins, and that is my two cents.